there is nothing more devastating for fans when their favorite Hollywood couple comes to an end. Lauren Graham and Peter Krause seemed like they were the end game. Their romance had been a long time coming as they met in 1995, but only started dating 15 years later. Fans were recently heartbroken when they found out the pair had called it quits. It was an even bigger blow to find out that they had ended their relationship secretly, almost an entire year before it was announced. But it shouldn't have been too much of a shock as these two had a history of keeping things private. Lauren Graham and Peter Krause first met in 1995 on the set of Caroline in the City. While the actress had a reoccurring role in the series, Krause only appeared in one episode, which coincidentally included a scene with Graham. After they met, there was clearly a connection between the pair. Lauren invited Peter over to her apartment and asked him to move her furniture around to hint at how she felt. Sadly, he didn't pick up on any of the signals she was throwing out. She had me move some furniture into her apartment for her back then. She got some That's thing, and I didn't, I didn't catch the signal. You know. yeah. yeah. Wow. Let's see how he does with this. Yeah. You know. <laughs> the actress blames timing and shyness for originally keeping them apart. I think we liked each other, but he asked me over to his house to play a board game. And that's exactly what we ended up doing. So I was like, this guy doesn't like me. Who actually plays a board game? The timing wasn't right. I don't think either of us was ready. He's obviously a very confident, appealing guy, but he's shy and so am I, she said. The duo crossed paths again in 2002 when they were both presenters at the Screen Actors Guild Awards. The universe was practically throwing them together. Not only was the universe in their favor, so was Lauren's co-star, Kelly Bishop. From the start of the show, Kelly named herself my TV mom. So, in a maternal, protective way, she found most of my boyfriends at the time lacking. She once told me I needed someone who was more my equal, like that wonderful actor on Six Feet Under, Graham added, referencing Krause. In 2010, Krause and Graham were cast as brother and sister, Adam and Sarah Braverman, on the series Parenthood. This time, the couple's immediate connection quickly turned romantic, right at the start of filming. Peter wanted to keep their romance out of the spotlight as much as possible for the sake of the show. Nobody knew about it for a while because we like to be at home, cooking and not going out. I've also been protective of it because it's important that you can buy us as brother and sister on the show, he said. I didn't want to not seem like his sister, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't want to be like, I didn't want you, the home viewer, to feel like there was anything weird going on. Yeah, exactly, that siblings. like the romantic stuff. In Graham's book of personal essays, Talking As Fast As I Can, she wrote about how her relationship with Krause first began. At our age, we'd probably both been through showmances that went south and made work an uncomfortable place to be. But ultimately, our mutual wariness gave way. It just sort of happened, she wrote. The pair loved how easy it felt with one another and how fun it was to work with someone and be able to go home with them too. It's hard to explain to people when you have a fancy job like being an actor what is challenging about it. So we just kind of have that shorthand, a shared language, which is helpful, the Mighty Ducks actress said. And despite how private they were, they didn't hesitate to dote on one another in interviews. The actress felt that the best pairings came naturally and divulged some details about the beginning of their romance. We couldn't stop talking, not about ourselves, but about the world and books and family. Once we got together, there was no gameplay. It was like you like me and I like you, she said. Many people expected this power couple to be forever and were desperate for Lauren and Peter to take the next step and get married. During an interview, the Gilmore Girls actress was asked whether wedding bells were ringing for the pair, and she would usually get flustered answering these sorts of questions. I never have a good answer for this question. Um... Well, I, just tell the truth for change. Oh, right. Just answer the question honestly. I don't know. Okay. We're really happy. I feel like close to five years in Hollywood is like, aren't we married already, yes. really? <laughs> and um, I don't know. It's yeah. good the way it yeah. is. In their time together, Lauren and Peter never felt the need to have a child together. They were happy with the little family they had, which consisted of two rescue dogs and the actor's son, Roman, whom he had with his ex, Christine King. The pair kept a quiet life with Roman and quality time was golden for them as a family. Sadly, when the pandemic hit and lockdowns were implemented, that quality time was stolen from them, like it was for many around the world. Graham was filming the Mighty Ducks Game Changers in Vancouver at the time, and because of COVID, she couldn't come and go to visit Krause and his son like she usually did. Normally, that's a two-hour flight and you come home on the weekends, but I couldn't do that. 
So we were separated for almost five months, which had never happened before, she said. When Lauren could finally return home, she was perplexed by the new rules put in place by Peter and his son. Although she was happy that the father and son had bonded, there were more piles than usual around the house. The actress's re-entry was extremely difficult because of the extended time Krause and her had spent apart. It was more like they were the married couple. They were like, we don't do it that way anymore, around the house. They were like, no, 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 this is how things happen, Grammer called. The Gilmore Girls actress also revealed the actor's newest addition to their home. And maybe some of us can relate. Peter started a thing where he'd go to the store and stock up on ridiculous amounts of whatever. He'd leave it in the corner of the living room and then he'd call it COVID Corner as if that somehow made these piles of stuff fun, or a place to show the guests. He'd be like, hey guys, have you seen the COVID corner? And I was like, it's not an amusement park, she said. Well, quarantine was rough for a lot of people. Still, Graham said she felt she needed to respect Krause's space and allow it to exist, because it was a difficult time, and everyone dealt with it in their own way. Although it did confuse the actress how on edge her boyfriend was, because this was the same man that was very nonchalant when she was lost in Vietnam, Wait, what? Lauren hilariously talked about confiding in the actor when she and her father got lost on vacation. Of course, I texted my boyfriend in LA because he could do something. I said, lost in Vietnam, and he replied, sounds like fun. He obviously didn't know what to do for me, but we were found, don't worry, she said. But just because the 911 actor didn't rescue her from across the world doesn't mean it changed Graham's feelings towards him. I mean, he's really my favorite person to talk to and he always makes me laugh. He's really, really funny. During the better days in their relationship, the couple couldn't get enough of each other, both at home and at work. So much so that Peter made a surprise cameo as a park ranger on Netflix's Gilmore Girls, A Year in the Life. The actor thanked his girlfriend for getting him the stint on the show because being a park ranger was a long time dream of his. When I was a kid, that was one of the things that I wanted to be. I wanted to be a forest ranger or a park ranger. I thought it would be cool to be outside, have the truck, and make sure everything's okay. Maybe save people, he said. Lauren wanted me to play that role, and uh, I always wanted to be a park ranger as a kid, so... You did? I got to do it for half a day. It was not only exciting for them as a couple to be on the show together, but it was also very memorable for Lauren. She had been holding out for the revival of Gilmore Girls, so much so that any other series she did were secondary. The actress revealed earlier in 2022 that she includes a Gilmore Girls clause in all her contracts. This effectively allowed her to drop out of whatever she was working on should creator Amy Sherman Palladino decide to bring it back. The couple seemed like they couldn't get enough of each other and appeared to be deeply in love. But behind closed doors, their relationship was coming to an end. In June 2022, fans were shocked to find out that Lauren and Peter had gone their separate ways. What added to the blow was when we found out that they had quietly ended their relationship over a year before they let anyone know. What we had was real. The actress explained that she and Krause had little trouble evading paparazzi and fans. They spent much of their time at home, cooking and hanging out. The low-key nature of their relationship was exactly why no one suspected they had split. Neither of them had much to say about why they broke up, and with Lauren and Peter's track record for maintaining privacy, we'll probably never know. Although one can speculate that their relationship had cracked under pressure of being apart for five months during the pandemic. It also might have come from their different ways of dealing with what was happening with COVID. Lauren had a more laid back approach, whereas Peter took a more pedantic approach, which caused a conflict between the pair. Lauren Graham and Peter Krause had a decade long relationship that they managed to keep private and protected from the outside world. This may have been what kept them together for so long because their love could blossom and go its own course without outside influence. We hope that each of them finds healing and happiness in the future. Let us know in the comments below what you found the most difficult during the COVID lockdowns and quarantines. Until next time, this has been Rumor Juice. Be well and be kind.